diversity is about inclusivity for all, for the disabled, for ethnic minorities, for the LGBT community, and for all others considered outside the traditional norms of society. The slogan, Celebrate Diversity, happens to be the theme of the 2017 Eurovision Song Contest. With its EU aspirations, Ukraine is certainly trying to embrace this idea when welcoming its Western counterparts. It's very important. It's very important, especially right now, for Kyiv, for Ukraine. Welcome to Kyiv. Welcome to Ukraine. But as the Eurovision host Ukraine promotes diversity, it's important to analyze the reality. Acceptance of such minority groups still lags behind Western European nations. However, Ukraine isn't all that different from most conservative Eastern European countries, certainly when it comes to views on LGBT persons. Ukraine, however, is significantly more advanced in its consideration of diversity than several other Eastern European countries. Armenia, Belarus, and Russia have officially adopted less tolerant views towards the LGBT community. Recently, Russia's war against the LGBT community has intensified. Top officials in the Chechen Republic are accused of incarcerating, torturing, and murdering LGBT persons and even denying their very existence. We can speak with certainty that at least over 100 people have been kidnapped, that those people have been held in prison illegally. They were tortured with electricity and dozens of people have been killed. Fortunately, when considering Ukraine, there's a lot of hope to be had about changing perspectives and changing for the better. Consider the case of Israel. The country went from being outraged over its 1998 Eurovision entry, Transsexual Dana International, to being today one of the world's most gay-friendly destinations. It's what's so amazing about Eurovision is they have the differences, but yet everyone's together, nevertheless. Ukraine is indeed changing for the better, although it's a slow, sometimes frustrating process. But as we've seen with last year's successful Pride and Equality March in Kyiv, there's plenty of reason to be hopeful. This is Vivica Williams with UATV.